In this video I am going to explain you 10 types of headaches. Mainly there are two types that is primary and secondary headaches. There are three types of primary headaches that is. 1. Tension headaches 2. Cluster headaches 3. Migraine and there are 7. Secondary headaches that is 4. Allergy or sinus headaches 5. Caffeine headaches 6. Hormone headaches 7. Exertion headaches 8. Hypertension headaches. 9. Rebound headaches 10. Post-traumatic headache. Although headaches can be defined as pain, in any region of the head, the cause, duration, and intensity of this pain can vary according to the type of headache. In some cases, a headache may require immediate medical attention. Seek immediate medical care if you're experiencing any of the following alongside your headache. Stiff neck rash the worst headache you've ever had. Vomiting confusion slurred speech any fever of 100.4 degree Fahrenheit that is 38 degree Celsius or higher paralysis in any part of your body or visual loss. Now let's learn each type of headaches. First let's see first three types of primary headache. Primary headaches occur when the pain in your head is the condition. In other words, your headache isn't being triggered by something that your body is dealing with, like illness or allergies. These headaches can be episodic or chronic. Episodic headaches may occur every so often or even just once in a while. They can last anywhere from half an hour to several hours. Chronic headaches are more consistent. They occur most days out of the month and can last for days at a time. In these cases, a pain management plan is necessary. Now let's see each type of primary headaches. 1. Tension headaches If you have a tension headache, you may feel a dull, aching sensation all over your head. It isn't throbbing. Tenderness or sensitivity around your neck, forehead, scalp, or shoulder muscles also might occur. Anyone can get a tension headache, and they are often triggered by stress. 2. Cluster headaches Cluster headaches are characterized by severe burning and piercing pain. They occur around or behind one eye or on one side of the face at a time. Sometimes swelling, Redness, flushing, and sweating can occur on the side that's affected by the headache. Nasal congestion and eye tearing also often occur on the same side as the headache. These headaches occur in a series. Each individual headache can last from 15 minutes to 3 hours. Most people experience 1 to 4 headaches a day, usually around the same time each day, during a cluster. After one headache resolves, another will soon follow. A series of cluster headaches can be daily for months at a time. In the months between clusters, individuals are symptom-free. Cluster headaches are more common in the spring and fall. They are also three times more common in men. 3. Migraine Migraine pain is an intense pulsing from deep within your head. This pain can last for days. The headache significantly limits your ability to carry out your daily routine. Migraine is throbbing and usually one-sided. People with migraine headaches are often sensitive to light and sound. Nausea and vomiting also usually occur. Some migraine is preceded by visual disturbances. About 1, out of 5 people will experience these symptoms before the headache starts. Known as an aura, it may cause you to see, flashing lights, shimmering lights. Zigzag lines stars blind spots auras can also include tingling on one side of your face or in one arm and trouble speaking. Migraine attacks might run in your family, or they can be associated with other nervous system conditions. Women are 3 times more likely to develop migraine than men. People with post-traumatic stress disorder also have an increased risk for migraine. Certain environmental factors, such as sleep disruption, dehydration, skipped meals, some foods, hormone fluctuations, and exposure to chemicals are common migraine triggers. Now let's move on to secondary headaches. Secondary headaches are a symptom of something else that is going on in your body. If the trigger of your secondary headache is ongoing, it can become chronic. Treating the primary cause generally brings headache relief. Now let's see each type of secondary headaches. 4. Allergy or sinus headaches Headaches sometimes happen as a result of an allergic reaction. The pain from these headaches is often focused in your sinus area and in the front of your head. 5. Hormone headaches Women commonly experience headaches that are linked to hormonal fluctuations. Menstruation, birth control pills, and pregnancy all affect your estrogen levels, which can cause a headache. Those headaches associated specifically with the menstrual cycle are also known as menstrual migraine. These can occur right before, during, or right after menses, as well as during ovulation. 6. Caffeine headaches Caffeine affects blood flow to your brain. Having too much can give you a headache. People who have frequent migraine are at risk of triggering a headache due to their caffeine use. When you're used to exposing your brain to a certain amount of caffeine, a stimulant, each day, you might get a headache if you don't get your caffeine fix. This may be because caffeine changes your brain chemistry, and withdrawal from it can trigger a headache. 
Not everyone who cuts back on caffeine will experience a withdrawal headache. Keeping your caffeine intake at a steady, reasonable level, or quitting it entirely, can prevent these headaches from happening. 7. Exertion headaches Exertion headaches happen quickly after periods of intense physical activity. Weightlifting, running, are all common triggers for an exertion headache. It's thought that these activities cause increased blood flow to your skull, which can lead to a throbbing headache on both sides of your head. 8. Hypertension headaches High blood pressure can cause you to have a headache, and this kind of headache signals an emergency. This occurs when your blood pressure becomes dangerously high. A hypertension headache will usually occur on both sides of your head and is typically worse with any activity. It often has a pulsating quality. You may also experience changes in vision, numbness or tingling, nosebleeds, chest pain, or shortness of breath. 9. Rebound headaches Rebound headaches, also known as medication overuse headaches can feel like a dull, tension-type headache, or they may feel more intensely painful, like a migraine. You may be more susceptible to this type of headache if you frequently use OTC pain relievers. Overuse of these medications leads to more headaches, rather than fewer. 10. Post-traumatic headaches Post-traumatic headaches can develop after any type of head injury. These headaches feel like migraine or tension-type headaches, and usually last up to 6 to 12 months after your injury occurs. They can become chronic. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.